As you know from my previous videos, I got to discharge from Bogan Clinic on day seven, um, uh, post four level ADR uh, in my NAC cervical. And I was picked up by Peter and he took me over to Straubing to Hotel Theria Centaur, however you pronounce that. And man, what an upgrade it was. I was put in room number 500, which has a lovely uh, suite and a balcony that overlooks the plaza. And my fellow surgical friends got 501, which has a huge balcony that faces that whole plaza uh, with enough room to have a big party on, if not that either of us were in any condition to do that. But it was really, really nice. And uh, made me feel like I was rejoining the world again from the hospital. And what's also cool about uh, those rooms is that they have reclining beds. And so I was able to get mine set for that approximate position that worked well for me at the hospital. Because my shoulder was still pretty much killing me. Um, but the real world started to help my spirits. And I was able to walk around a couple miles that day around the plaza to the drugstore to pick up my prescriptions, including pain meds, which I yeah, definitely needed. And uh, I bought a nice beef and rice dish for lunch and then sliced prosciutto and cheese and bread for dinner. And wow, that was really cool. And using a little bit of conversational German was, uh, was handy. I still struggled with it a lot, but uh, hey, I got it done. So that was, that was all right. I was pretty exhausted at the end of the day. And then I took a nice hot shower in a bathtub uh, or in a, in a soak in the, in the tub. Uh, for about 30 minutes, and while my shoulder loved it, uh, that whole day's activity waited on me like a piano, and I just collapsed then afterwards, fell asleep, didn't need any sleeping pills, got tons of REM sleep, slept in the next day, day eight, missed the, the buffet. They even called me and said, Mr. McCory, would you like to uh, come? Uh, and I was like, no, I, I'm just going to stay here. And so I did end up getting up and, and out of bed and walked down around the plaza and uh, uh, I got hungry right around 11 or so. I picked up a nice donair sandwich, and uh, it's Greek or German kind of combination food, and uh, a Coca-Cola with real cane sugar in it. Mm, that was good. Came back to the hotel, took a nap, went back out later, got something to eat, and then uh, spent the evening watching the only two English TV channels in the room, and uh, finally went to sleep. And in fact, that pretty much typified most of the rest of the week there in Straubing. You know, it was a, a week post-op at the at the hospital and then the second week in Straubing. And it basically was, I'd get up in the morning, I'd go down, I'd eat that buffet, I'd uh, go walking um, for a good mile or two, I'd come back, um, relax, take a nap, get back up, go out again for lunch, walk around, come back, eat dinner, and, uh, and then stay in for the evening. So it was. It was an awful lot of walking and the eating and resting and, and healing up and trying to stretch out my shoulders. And uh, gosh, you know, the one thing that I wish I would have known is that there was a massage place that was just right around the corner that I could have gone to have them work on my shoulder. But like an idiot, I didn't read the brochure until like the last day I was there. And I was like, darn it, I should have done that. So tip to the uh, to the better of you than me, then you, know, you should take advantage of that massage um, opportunity if you go through the same thing. Um, by day 10, uh, I got to do my post-surgical meeting back in Bogan, and so Peter came, picked me up, brought me to the hospital, and I met with uh, doctors uh, Nichols and Renate, um, and they coordinated everything. I talked with them extensively. They took x-rays again of my neck, showed that the positions of all the devices were perfect. They had not moved. Um, they asked me how my shoulder was doing, um, asked me a lot of questions. I asked them a lot of questions and I really can't say, uh, can't speak highly enough about that whole experience. I got to meet some of the, um, the, the nurses as well and show them that I was doing better than I was in the hospital. So that was cool. They, they asked a lot of questions and gave me a lot of time to ask questions, made me feel like they really did want me to, to know whatever it is that I wanted to know and to make sure that I knew what their prescribed best recovery advice uh, was to be. Um, so speaking very, I got to speak very highly about them to that regard. Um, and man, I'll tell you, I've said it before, their nurse staff's fantastic. So I made sure that they understood how highly I regarded them and how the entire coordination, everything works so well for me and, and that I really can't speak any highly about um, them than that. Um, back in Straubing then, I got hungry, got this chicken and rice dish, and uh, watched a couple of the English DVDs uh, from the front desk, and uh, had McDonald's for dinner. Um, actually, decent McDonald's. In fact, the best McDonald's I've ever had. Uh, they actually make the sandwiches the way 
you would uh, make them at home if you were trying to approximate actual real McDonald's and not smushed buns and teeny little thin patties and barely any cheese and sloppy placement of everything. No, this stuff was actually really good. And, uh, and you know, French fries, man, French fries rock. Uh, the rest of the week, like I said, was basically shopping, walking, didn't do a whole lot of buying, but was neat to go around and kind of just take in um, uh, Straubing and Bavaria and got to visit a couple of churches and just walk around the neighborhoods all over. Um, day 12, it snowed and dusted the, the rooftops. And the reason why I mentioned that, it was funny to me because my um, other surgical friends were from California and they couldn't remember the last time they had been out in, uh, in snow. And so I, I got to chuckle uh, when I watched my one friend uh, with the lumbar surgery experience and enjoy snow coming down. Nice big fat snowflakes too hitting her. And, uh, so that was pretty cool. My shoulder continued to hurt. My scar continued to heal. Um, but day by day I was getting a little bit more stamina back. I was increasing my walking distance and I was uh, reducing my pain pill consumption um, to, uh, uh, actually, no, I still was taking the pain pills, but I wasn't taking any sleeping pills. Day 13 was my last full day in Germany. Uh, ate at Zumgeist, great restaurant, and just kind of chilled, hung out. It was kind of rainy, snowy, drizzly day. And uh, by day 14, that was when I got to go home. So I got up nice and early and uh, met Peter, and I'll tell the rest of the story uh, in my next video. But overall, that week in Straubing was a lot better than the first week at the hospital. Mainly that week was plagued by problems with my shoulder, my AC joint, um, pain and being alone and having meds and coming off of anesthesia and just being weepy and kind of alone and lonely and, and, and just trying to struggle to find uh, how to best heal, how to reconnect with uh, listening to my body and listening to my health after going through that uh, pretty significant surgery. Second week was, was a lot better, almost a piece of cake now in retrospect.